All right, I feel like I was just here recently, and I was. We have another update on the Zero Trace, and this is another big one. So, Zero Trace is going to be no longer selling physical items. Now, what do I mean by that? So, the Zero Trace kit you see here, the Zero Trace Mini, the new device they have out, the Zero Trace Pro, you're never going to be able to get these again. But they're going to be moving strictly to a digital platform so they're going to be selling the firmware and you're going to have to build your own devices so these devices are fairly cheap i bought this one right here off of amazon it's the same device they use for the zero trays original the base one and uh, we're going to try to build our own so this new uh, business model is basically all digital now they only have i think less than uh 17 of these items left so if you want to get the zero trace mini there's only a couple pre-orders left i think there's a few regular uh zero traces left um so definitely grab those if you want to have them in your collection um but for now on it's going to be build your own devices here and they're, they're working on getting more esp 32s uh, capable for it so if you were to go to the uh, dashboard right now and you go to their flasher and you're going to see that you can now build your own so you got the zero trace standard the pro and the mini but we're going to be using the custom device so go ahead and click on custom device you're going to find your esp32 model here which one do you have and uh go from there so we're going to demonstrate it in this video and another quick thing I want to mention, I was talking to the founder today. He's going to be releasing eventually the specs for the cases so you can build your own cases. So right now um, he has these uh, cases that they come with the kits. But I think he's going to eventually just allow the 3D printed file, um, release it on the website so you can build your own and make your own cool cases. So I'm going to purchase the firmware myself for the first time and try, um, try to build my own right now. So I'm going ahead and click on more details um, buy it now watch me to put my email address so stand by okay gonna click on complete purchase all right so I just gotta put in my card information okay as soon as you're done paying you'll get this message thank you for your purchase I just got an email from zero trace as well um user trace has been successfully purchased you can now access a dashboard dashboard to manage your device and services blah 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 okay so now we can go to dashboard there's a link right here okay so it says we got three devices you see right here so this is the one we just purchased so it says in progress it says activate right here just like in that video that they demonstrated so we're going to walk through the exact same steps that they went through so after you're done buying the firmware, you're going to go back to the dashboard and flash the firmware to the device. So this one is the ESP32 S3N16R8. That's the exact same as their base model. I just bought this one on Amazon for $13. And I'm going to flash the firmware to it. So pick the device, click on flash, connect to it. We should be familiar to this. This is how you do like the Flipper Zero firmwares and um, when you do the web flasher for... Bruce, click on the device, uh, connect, and just wait for the new stuff. Flash, next, install. And just like that, we're flashing the firmware. Just like that, it's done. So now it's time to go to the desktop app. All right, so now I opened up the desktop app. I'm going to go hit connect, terminal, and type in request license. Okay, send the request. All right, so you click on download logs, open file. You're going to need this right here. And I'm going to go back to the dashboard, go to devices. And then we're going to go back to activate. So you should see these are the other devices I have from Zero Trace. This is the one we purchased today and uh, the one we're doing in this video. Click on activate. Going to paste what we got, activate device. All right, and just like that, in activation. So we did it, so we should be good. So it normally takes about one to even less than one business day to get it activated. And once it does, you'll see that your digital um, version 
is completed. And once that's done, you click on completed. You're going to copy this license key. You're going to need it. Now you're going to connect to your zero trace. Go to the desktop app, which I'm going to demonstrate here and type in activate dash license and then paste your license and just hit send. It says it right there, license key activated. So now we should be able to access our zero trace that we just built. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect to it and see what we get. And I just rebooted my device and now I have access to a zero trace device and we built this guy on our own. Of course, one of the first settings is make it RGB. So definitely cool that I can build my own zero trace devices now and uh, you can do it too. And you saw that it wasn't that hard to do. Um, and I'm assuming that eventually the process will get easier, but definitely doable. And now you don't have to worry about shipping and stuff like that. Uh, you can build your own. I'm going to be experimenting with a ton of ESP32 devices. And my goal is to mix these with some of the uh, LilyGo um, Meshtastic gadgets here. And I, I want to make like one device that actually can power all this stuff into one. So kind of like a Ghost Strats multi-tool. But that's going to be one of my projects as well. So now that Zero Trace is allowing this, we can do that. We can make all these cool community projects now. So, okay, and that's it for this video. So now that Zero Trace, you can bring your own devices and build your own. I'm really excited that I can make all these projects now and I can experiment with it. And now you can make your own Zero Trace too. So it's a little bit more accessible for you now that it's a digital product. So now um, they're going to be working on some other firmwares as well. So you can have multiple zero trace devices so one device will be a hid tool one device would be a wi-fi pen testing tool and one device could be a key logger so they're gonna be working on cool stuff like that this company is just starting out and it's only the beginning uh, and uh i really do enjoy this now that we can build it i, I always like diys and building your own stuff and this is really cool that we can do that but that's it for this video and remember safety is an illusion